this is. A TNT production. Hey, Professor, you in there? Oh, uh, hey, it's me, Rogers, and uh, Casey's with me. You, you wanted to see us, you said? It's the end of uh, the semester. We are going to head out for the summer, but just wanted to check in and see what you wanted. What's up, Prof? Oh, why, yes, Rogers and Casey. Come in and have a seat. Uh, just have a seat there. Uh, as you can tell, as this semester winds down, this will possibly be my last semester on Earth, as I am dying the way any mortal would. But I shall not stop my endeavors there. No, no, no. I've been exploring, as I tend to do as an explorer, professor of exploring. Uh, I think I may have found something. Oh, uh, don't talk like that, professor. You're only 96 years old and still teaching. What'd you find? Uh, is this for extra credit or something? It's, you know, the end of semester. I, I kind of want to go home. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I... Throw up on my desk a little. That's nasty. Extra credit. Gee! Extra credit, Rogers. When are you going to learn that credits and 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 GEDs and MRIs and CAT scans and EMS and PNJ and all these other things, they don't matter in life. What matters in life is life. And in life, what matters is youth. I believe I've found a map to Ponte de Lyon's. Fountain of Youth on the Isle of Bimini. I think I've found the key to immortality. Mega Tales presents the tale of. The truth of the fountain of youth. Oh, wow. If, if that map is real and we find the fountain of youth, that could be my thesis. I could become rich. The fountain of youth? It's the truth? Oh, my gosh. I thought you were just a senile goof, but the fountain of youth, it, I mean, this is crazy. If you're right, that would be an amazing find. But, it also sounds very, very risky. Haven't a lot of explorers claimed to have found maps to the Fountain of Youth and been wrong? I'm the logical one. Damn it! when will you people learn? Without risk, there can't be a reward. It's not about the fame, Rogers. Imagine, imagine what this could do for humanity. It's about the personal exploration, the gains of knowledge. Not money and riches. We're doing this for all mankind and for the souls of all of us who wish to maintain eternal youth. I still think it sounds risky, but it's more fun and a better time than going home for the summer with my hippie parents. Count me in two! I'm all about money and riches and money and bitches. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Discovery, knowledge. You're right, you're right. Uh... Whatever it is, Professor Norville, whatever I can help you with, I'm on board. What, what's the next step? Quick, take these papers, learn the location and the date and the time on it, and then destroy it. This is where we're going to meet and when we are going to meet. The boat will pick us up there and take us to where we need to go. Don't bring a passport, don't tell your families, and like I said, dispose of the information. This whole operation is very hush-hush, and we must keep it that way, for now at least. When the public is ready, we can tell them. But for now, this is a very secret operation. I have a pirate boat that is going to take us out. Smugglers there are. But they'll, they'll, they'll keep things under wraps, so I've paid them off. This seems super shady. No identification, not telling anyone where we are going? I don't know. But... It would be such a huge discovery. I just can't pass it up. Let's do the damn thing. Count me in, Professor. I'll be there. I don't have a passport anyway. What do I need a passport for? I've never left this state that we're in. A state of confusion? What's happening? Uh, I don't think the Fountain of Youth's gonna help that one. Oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking out loud again. Uh, okay. Remember, 
learn the time, place, and date on, on the piece of paper and destroy it. I will see you then. Oakley doakley, Professor. I'll see you then. Um, Casey, can I look at your paper? I lost mine already. Ugh, boys are stupid. Artis! AC! Artis AC over here! Over here! Yes, yes, greetings! Professor Norville, is that you? Oh, hey, what? Why are you calling us Odgers and AC? Professor, I know you're old and senile, but you're forgetting our names. My name is Rogers, and her name is Casey, and you're Professor Norville. You wanted us to meet you here on a top secret mission, remember? Remember, Professor? It's me! Rogers! You idiot, these are code names I've assigned you. Those don't seem like very creative code names. Loyal! Sorry, well, I just threw up on the dog a little. Ugh. Ew, you barked on me, nasty. Now I have to wash my hair tonight. I can't use anyone's real name here. That's how secret this mission is. You are going to be known as Rogers, and you are going to be known as AC. And I, I have a code name too. Is it Professor Puke? <laughs> Ow! It's Professor Orville. Professor Orville. You oron. Now, come on, get onto the boat quick. Uh, no bags. I said no bags or belongings. Uh, leave them on the side of the dock. You don't need any of that stuff. Come on, onto the boat. Onto the boat now. This is Shaggy. He's going to be our guide. His full name is Mushaggy. But his code name is Shaggy. Welcome to the vessel. I'm your captain. Now we're going places we should not be going, so unless I say so, you must stay below deck and on scene. I'm gonna be your fixer on this trip, meaning I will handle everything with the locals. I will get us to the island of Bimini. But Professor Orville has filled me in on how hush hush of an operation this is. So please just stay below deck, don't ask any questions at any time, and if you have any cell phones or anything, like I clearly see, Odgers, you're holding one in your hand, throw it overboard now. Okay? Ah, crap. <laughs> okay. Let me spread out all the maps here and take a look at these. And then I gather my research materials. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Juan Ponsillon never mentions the Fountain of Youth throughout his expedition. He may have heard of it and even believed in it, but his name was never associated with it until after he died. How could the professor miss this? This makes no sense. And this map, this just doesn't add up. I mean, any idiot doing a crappy podcast could do a quick Google search to discover that Ponce Leon never mentions seeing or being a part of the Fountain of Youth. How could this be his map? I, I just, I, I, I don't understand. Is the professor above deck? I need to go talk to him. This must be a miscalculation or oversight. How? Whoa, 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 little lady. I know it's night time, but I asked everyone to stay below deck. What, what are you doing up here? You could be spotted and ruin the whole expedition, brah. I know, I'm sorry. I think navigationally, we may have some errors. I'm looking for the professor and thought he may be up here peeping overboard. Aw, uh, ew. I wanted to talk to him. I found some inconsistencies with the history of the map and the courses we plotted, and I wanted to ask him. Listen, I'm the captain. What I say goes. Go below deck right now. Everything is fine. Okay, bro? But I'm telling you, there are, I mean, we might, um, I think we're, I think we're sailing in the wrong direction. If I could just, ah! I told you to be quiet. What's all this? Oh, I threw up in my bunk a little bit. Oh, what's all this racket out here? What's going on? Hey, prof I mean, Professor, uh, Haggy, or Shaggy, or uh, I'm not good with code names. What, what's the racket? What's going on up here, guys? And has anybody seen Casey? She wasn't below deck. Well, 
I'm confused. Whoa, 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 bros. Everybody's just gotta chill out, okay? Casey came up here and she was attacked by sharks. And they had guns. And they shot her and ate her. And then a riptide pulled her under the undertow and a horrific storm came, so she's dead, bros. She's now one with the sea, but a good captain knows the boat must go on. Every expedition has its sacrifices. This is, this is bound to happen. We must go on. Oh my god. This means I get her a cut of the money. Yeah, yeah, let's keep pushing through, guys. Yeah, this'll be okay. Sick at all. Oh, all right. Let's begin the hike. Let me climb down here. Whoa, this land's a little. Oh, oh, left. Forgive me. I, I get a little land sick. Professor, we're so close to making it. You gotta stop throwing up and just live a little bit longer. You're the only one who can read this map. I don't read so good. Lead us to the fountain. We're so close, Professor. Just hang on. Okay. There's no one else on this island. The boat is secure. Let's hike up to this fountain, do what we gotta do, and get out of here quick before any locals realize this is a very sacred island. We gotta move fast so nobody discovers us. All right, let's go, let's go. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, not yet. We're not. We're there. See it, see it right there. That's it, the majestic fountain of you. It's more like a pool, but it's called a fountain. Whoa, I've never seen such crisp, serene blue water. I, I can't believe this is real. I thought you were just a crazy rich old man. This is... Whoa. Professor, we're here. We're at the fountain. What what, what do we do next? What, what happens now? Let me just get my shoes off. Drop my cane here. Let me see. Okay, let me just walk down. Oh, it's, it's beautifully warm. It's the best water I've ever felt in my old, old life. Let me... Oh, it's great. It's magnificent. I'm going to wade out to the middle. It's, do I look like a swimsuit model yet? Is it working? Do I look beautiful? Andres? Did you really have to get naked? Oh, God. No, no nothing's happening. You, you're still old. Maybe if you go all the way under, submerge yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, he, is he puking under the water? Oh, God. No. No, it, di it didn't work. Nothing, Professor. God, what, what's going wrong? Oh, should I do it now? Yes! Do it now! Do it now! <coughs> Ew! What? 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 Whoa! Hey, why'd you push me in the water? Not cool, Shaggy. Not cool. Oh, soul of the young, given to old, and now the secret of life is told. A crumpled future now unfolds as the youth of the young. Now I behold. Professor, what, what's going on? What are you? What are you saying? What's the? Ah! Oh, no! The water's lighting up. I don't believe it. Oh, you're, you're getting younger. He, he's getting older. It, it's real. I can't believe it, bro. This is real. Goodness, look at me. I, I feel fantastic. I've, I've never looked this good even when I actually was 29. This is amazing. How this idiot was 29 and still in college, I wonder. But who cares now? I feel fantastic. Professor, what, what have you done to me? My, my hands are all wrinkly. I've got liver spots. I, my reflection in the water. 
I'm an old man, but... <gasps> Professor, you, you're young. What did you do? do? Do it to me. You've got to bring me back to my former self. No, oh, I mean, I just peed a little bit. Oh, I'm still peeing. Oh, a poop slid out. Whoa, mind blown. Hashtag redonk. You see, Ponce de Leon never once mentioned the Fountain of Youth in his writings. Because Ponce de Leon had no real interest in the Fountain of Youth. No, you see, there was another famous explorer called Hernando Hernando Magell McGillicutty, who was the real person interested in the Fountain of Youth. And what he discovered as he went on exploring for 500 years was that in order for the Fountain of Youth to work properly, you had to bring in a victim who you could switch age with. Every time he would get into his 90s, he would find a handsome youth like yourself and merely swap ages. He would keep his same body, but it would revert back to its young, vigorous state. Now I have done the same to you, and I am quite happy to keep this youth For what they say is true, youth is wasted on the young. And now, sir, you are just an old, old, old dickhead. I I can't believe you you tricked me. I... I, How could you do this, Professor? No, come back here. You can't leave me on this island like this. No, my my family and friends will come looking for me. Oh, God, they won't. No one even knows I'm here. No, come back here. No. Bastard. Oh, that was incredible. You totally stole that guy's youth. Come on, let's head back to the boat and get out of here. Yes, yes, indeed, to the boat. Hey, do you think we can scoop up some checks on the way? I've, I've never felt this good. I really want to, you know, make sure all the... Bait and tackle still works, if you know what I mean. Eh, eh, know any good island hopping spots around here, Shaggy? Hmm, hmm. Gotta get my groove on. Get my groove on. Yeah, bro. They don't call me Shaggy for nothing. It's because I shag a lot of carpets. I clean up carpet shagging. But I do know some girls. Alright, we have made it to the high seas. We are back and cruising across the water. So, uh, young professor, uh, about my $25,000. I mean, I thought you were just an old senile man. You know, you gave me half and we got on the boat. It's still below deck, but I would not mind getting the other half of that 25 G's you owe me, bro. Of course, of course. I'm a man of my word. Hold on. I, I'll get it. I have it right here. Let me just get this out here. Here, hold this for me. Oh, not cool. You shot me twice. <laughs> so goes on the story of England's greatest explorer, under Henry the Seventh, who put guys like Sir Henry Drake out of business. Yes, that is right. I, Hernando Hernando Magell McGillicuddy, the greatest explorer who never found anything except the secret to eternal love. Well, at least I never have to go back to school again. What the fuck was that? <laughs>